Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, this is just going to be a short uh, video about uh, Brian Houston. Brian Houston was the senior pastor of Hillsong uh, Church, uh, which uh, spread into 30 nations, I've heard. Uh, he was charged in Australia a couple of years ago with uh, withholding uh, evidence of... Uh, his father sexually abusing children, and uh, because of the charges, he lost his post as the head of Hillsong Church. Um, I uh, dearly love uh, Brian Houston. I've been to Hillsong Church uh, quite a number of times, and uh, they run a conference once a year, and I think I've, I've been to three of the conferences. Uh, about 15 years ago, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, led me to prophesy over Brian Houston, and uh, his prophecy was uh, 46 minutes, and uh, I, I was led to do one over his wife too, and her prophecy was 53 minutes. And uh, still to this day, there's only been uh, about uh, three prophecies longer than Bobby Houston's uh, prophecy. And uh, so Brian Houston's prophecy uh, was about uh, the fourth or fifth uh, longest uh, personal prophecy I've ever done in my life. And uh, I uh, uploaded uh, them in a short 10-minute uh, videos way back uh, when uh, YouTube wouldn't allow you to do uh, more than 10-minute videos. And I think I had about uh, five videos for him. And then uh, I rang his secretary and... Uh, uh, emailed his secretary and she told me to take it off YouTube and uh, and record it on a CD and she'd give it to Brian. And uh, as I listened to uh, the prophecy over Brian and Bobby Houston, um, I got the feeling like there were only about 10 of people of that stature in the world and uh, I heard uh, God's opinion of uh, Brian Houston, and uh, I deeply respected him. And uh, so I just thought I'd announce it uh, to uh, you, you people on uh, on uh, YouTube who uh, know of Hillsong Church and uh, have heard uh, bad things about Brian Houston. Um, there's a report by an Australian uh, journalist, uh, which is like a right-wing journalist, in Australia, and I'll attach uh, that uh, YouTube uh, interview with Brian Houston underneath this video. But um, I'm just uh, on here to say I'm really pleased uh, that he's been found free of the charges and uh, it's uh, destroyed his reputation and seemed to have destroyed him. Uh, but um, I'm just so happy that uh, he's uh, uh, been exonerated and... Uh, uh, the media uh, really has gone out of their way to uh, cast uh, bad reports about Hillsong Church and uh, 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 always try and find an opportunity uh, to do a bad news story on Hillsong Church. And I've watched that uh, uh, for many years. Um, uh, I think Joyce Meyer has a cliche that she says... Uh, higher levels, bigger devils, like greater levels, greater devils. And I sense that Hillsong uh, stands out uh, on top of uh, the Christian world uh, music market and as a church, and uh, they seem to attract principality sort of uh, level uh, demonic interference, and uh, they seem to uh, have uh, always uh, been in the news and uh, the... Uh, left-wing media hate uh, Christianity and hate anything popular in Christianity. So I, I'm just uh, reporting to you and reporting to if you're a stranger on YouTube and you've just surfed in to see this video, uh, I'm just reporting that I'm really, really happy that uh, Brian Houston has been uh, uh, found to be uh, innocent and uh, I really love the man, and uh, I encourage you to uh, keep listening to their music. God bless.